Hey, it says we're live. Good morning, everybody, or afternoon or evening, depending on what part of the world you happen to be in. It's, this is Len, and it's Lunch with Len, and it's Tuesday, March 15th. Welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, I see we have most of the regulars here. Hello, Craig. Hello, Crick. Uh, hello, Crick. <laughs> now, that was a combination of Christy and Rick. Crick. Hello, Rick. Hello, Christy. <laughs> Glad to see you. Josh, hello. Welcome. Um, I, I, I saw on Facebook you're a friend of Rick's, and um, I, I don't think that I know you, but that's okay. Welcome aboard, and get to, let's get to know each other. And Bill and, and Chris and um, our good friend Larry is missing today because he's on jury duty for, he told me yesterday he thinks his jury duty is going to last possibly as much as two to three weeks, which is really really ugly for him so i feel well i feel sorry for him although i guess i'll have to go on record as saying in our system of justice somebody's got to do it and uh, i've been close to being on juries several times myself but i've never been there um what we're gonna do today I made a threat on Saturday, which I couldn't follow through with. I thought I had a guest lined up for today, but I didn't. So you're stuck with me. And uh, what we're going to do, do today is we're going to wrap up this sequence of several webinars that we've been doing, several trainings we've been doing on Facebook advertising. And today we're going to take a look at the last type of ad that we want to look at without having to go to the power editor, and that is um, conversions to a website. Craig, you've been on jury duty. Yeah. So let's get. Let's just go ahead and, um, Chris, are you, are you? You know, are you eating tacos or should I bring somebody over? Chris, Bill, somebody should somebody come over and just keep an eye on things. I think I have this under control today, but you you really never can tell, right? So why don't somebody in the chat is it, if anybody wants to come over or is willing to let me know in the chat. I'll bring you across, and then we're going to wrap this up pretty quick. Now, I do have a special guest for Thursday, so hang tight, and I'll tell you about that. No, I am not eating. So does that mean you can come across? I'm going to click you across, Chris, and um, assuming you, if you can come, I assume you'll accept it, and if you can't, you won't. So we're waiting for Chris, and then we'll get this show on the road. And I don't think we're going to run over today. I think we'll be done at high noon or very close. Because we've really already covered 90% of the material. Hello, Chris. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go to directly to screen share. I'm going to assume you can see my screen. And before I go, before we actually go live to Facebook, I'm going to pull up. Okay, I'm going to pull, pull up a PowerPoint. Uh, Chris, can you see it? Yes. Okay. So let me just, I mean, this this training has gone on for several weeks, and, and it's all back there, by the way. Everything we've done is recorded. So let me just go back right into the middle of it and remind, remind us what we were doing. We were looking at two different ad strategies, one in which we use, use page likes campaign and also maybe use boosted posts, and then we run an ad to people who like liked our page. Now, why are we doing this? The reason we're doing this is that if you just go out and put a Facebook ad out to an audience that doesn't know who you are, you run the risk of getting into trouble with Facebook. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a moment. Because if you're running to an absolutely cold audience, then there's a high chance that people will click on your ad and say, why am I seeing this? I don't want to see this ad. This ad is spam. It doesn't, or, or whatever. And then pretty soon, Facebook is not going to be happy with you. So what we have found is, is that, and, and when, I, when I talk about running an ad, the kind of ad I'm talking about is an ad to a capture page. Uh, we're not talking about ads, uh, you know, like we're going to run a page likes campaign and we're just running that to a cold audience. That's okay. We're just asking people to like our page. But when we when we really get into where we're running an ad to a capture page, that's where we want to be very careful. The, so 
so one strategy is to use page, use page likes campaigns, get people to like your page, and then run an ad to the people who like your page. Because presumably the people that like your page know you a little bit. They know something about you. They're less likely to kick the ad back and say, I don't want to see this. The other strategy is, you, is again, to use page post engagement, driving traffic to your website or blog, or and, and then use website conversion ads to target people who have visited your website. And once again, the theory here, the underlying concept, is that people that have already visited your website are warmed up a little bit at least. Or maybe they're only lukewarm, but at least they've seen you before, they know who you are, and they're less likely to kick your ad back and say, hey, I don't want to see this in my newsfeed. That, of course, requires a Facebook pixel to be installed. We talked about the pixel and we talked about audiences. Now, I'm going to say maybe two or three weeks ago. I don't remember exactly, but, the, but it's all out there. I'm going to just remind you about the Facebook ad structure, and I'm reminding you again of, of this for maybe the second time or third time. At the highest level, there's campaigns. And the campaign is the broad objective. That's uh, uh, you're going to like my page, or we're going to do a, a beautiful post, or maybe we're going to do, and what we're going to do today is a, is an ad to a capture page. Uh, and I'm going to use Instagram, the uh, InstaBiz Builder, as an example. And then the ad set is who are we targeting? and how much are we going to pay? So underneath the broad um, umbrella of the campaign is ad sets, and ad sets are who are we targeting. And the reason for that is let's 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 pretend, and we're going to do this, we're going to run an ad to Instagram, for example, the Insta, Insta Biz Builder. And uh, I could pick an audience where I'm going to target fans of Ray Higdon. I'm going to pick another audience where I'm going to target fans of uh, Adam Chandler. Okay. Um, or I could pick an audience where I'm targeting people that like MLM and another audience where I'm targeting people that like something else. So I can pick an audience in the U.S. and one in Australia. So I can pick different audiences and run them under the same umbrella. And then underneath the audiences, I can have the ad creative itself. And again, under each audience, I could run two or three different ads and do split testing. This can get, get to be very sophisticated, but that's why it's split up the way it is. We're not going to get quite that sophisticated today. So we did these ads already. We did likes to a page and boosting campaigns, and we did those without using the, uh, the ad manager or the power editor. And then we went and we did those ads again using the, uh, the ads manager. And today we're going to do conversions to a, uh, to a website. This is the general ad structure. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not going to belabor it a lot. but. There's some text in the ad, there's a picture, there's a headline, there's a description, and then there's a URL. And the URL is where are people going to go when they when they click on the ad. So that's this, just the general structure. We'll see that in a minute when we're in the ads manager. And that that's all I want in the PowerPoint right now. Uh, I'm sorry, let me back up. Uh, the reason you saw this is that I was prepared to go on into the Power Editor at some point in the future. And for the Power Editor, we do need Google Chrome. But we're not doing that today. So let me end, end that, get rid of the PowerPoint, and go, go to Facebook. Now, before I push on into the Ads Manager itself, let me just give you an example. Here's an ad that's showing up on my news feed right now. And this is what we're talking about. I can look at this ad, Seven Figure Furnace, click on it, say, why am I seeing this? And then it comes up with an explanation, and I can tell if that explanation was good or bad. I can hide ads. I can opt out of seeing the ads. So this is where people, if you're putting ads out, now this this ad, I don't know who this is actually, and I generally, I'm, I'm a softy. I tolerate a lot more than some people do. Uh, do I want to see this ad? Not really, but I'm, not, I'm also not going to do anything that I know is going to hurt the person because I'm, I'm assuming that he's, whoever it is, he or she is in, in network or internet marketing or MLM, just like you and I are, and I'm not, unless somebody's really being obnoxious, I'm not going to do anything to hurt them. But some people are less tolerant than I am, so people can go to these ads when they see them in their newsfeed, and they can say, hey, I don't want to see this ad, in which case you get a ding against you, which is why we're, why we're doing all the things we're doing to try to warm up the audience before we shoot an ad to them. And again, it's an ad to a capture page that we're talking about. So 
Let's go to the ads manager. Now, I'm going to use InstaBiz Builder as an example, and I'll explain in a minute why I'm going to do that. But first, the, the first question you're going to ask me is probably going to ask me is how do I get the conversion pixel where it's supposed to be? And if you remember that, let me just review that with you real quickly. Here are the pixels, and we can create a conversion pixel. So if I go create a conversion pixel, there are a couple of different methods. And I'm going to not use the standard events right now because that requires editing the actual pixel code. We're not going to do that today. We're just going to track, we're going to use custom conversions. And if you read this, it says that you can use custom conversions for, to track anything to your Facebook, uh, with your Facebook pixel code. And it says learn more. So if I click on there, and we're going to tell it what URL we're looking for. So now let's go back. Let's go to MLSP. And I, I believe, except Josh, I don't know if you're a member of MLSP. And if you're not, I'm sorry. This may be, may be a little bit past where you are today. I just don't know. But everyone else on here is a member of MLSP. So let me go over here. Do, 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 do. We're going to go to the system campaigns, and we're going to go to uh, instabizbuilder.com. I know it's here somewhere. Of course, of course, I can only find it when I'm not talking. There it is, Instagram, the Instagram, instabizbuilder.com. And you'll see, you see what this page looks like right there, and you're going to see that again when we get to the ad. But here is, here is where the pixel goes. So... This guy, the editor guy there, you see the pixel code right there? There is the pixel. So what we've done, let me come back to the ads manager. We've, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, let me back up again because i got to get the URL just to show you how this works, just to make sure everybody knows. So what we really want is the URL for the capture page. So there it is. So back in my ads manager, I'm going to tell, I'm going to put that URL in. I'm going to choose a category for this guy, and I'm going to call it a lead. So if they click on this capture page, I want to record it as a lead, and we'll go next, and we'll give it a name. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to go past this step because if I go past this step, I'm just duplicating a pixel that already exists and is installed. But that's that's all you got to do. Give it a name, and then tell it to create, and it creates the pixel. And then you copy that pixel, and once again, back here is where we install it. We simply copy and paste. And once we put that pixel in, this particular system campaign is good to go. And uh, we can use that pixel to track conversions. So I hope everybody followed that. I went a little bit quick, but I think it's all pretty straightforward. So we have our pixel. Now, let's go back to our ads manager. Let's go to manage ads, create an ad. Now, the ad we're going to create is increased conversions to our website. And by the way, one question that might be rattling around in your mind is, when I say increase conversions to a website, why don't I just increase conversions to say, you know, lenmooney.com or schausinthehousecoaching.com. Well, or whatever your web website name is, .com. Well, think about that for just a moment. Increase conversions means convert. What is it on my website that's going to convert? If we just go to lenmooney.com, we're going to the main page. We want to send people to a capture page. The point of this is to get people to take an action. So we've got to send them to a capture page. Otherwise, we might just use send people to your website, the ad type that's above it. So we're trying to get conversions. So we're going to use increased conversions to our website. And I've already got instabizbuilder.com here. So I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to choose the conversion event. And that Instagram pixel 
Had I just created it a minute ago, it would it, it would be showing up here under the name I gave it, whatever name I gave it, and it is it is here. There it is. That's the name I gave it before, and that's the one that's installed. So now we have our capture page. That's the website we're going to send people to, and we have our pixel installed. We're all done with that much. Now this thing says that this ad might not be optimized because it hasn't received any activity from that pixel in seven days, and that's true. I'm not currently running an ad to that campaign, and I haven't been for some time. But that doesn't change the fact that this is these are the steps that you take. So what any campaign that you want to run an ad to, no matter what the campaign is, you create a pixel for it, install the pixel in the campaign, and that's it. So here we go to the next step in the process, set audience and budget. Now, here's where we can choose a custom audience. Now, for example, I'm going to run this ad to people that have already seen my website. And I'm not particularly happy, by the way, with this number, 300 people. It, it should be, it, it seems to me it should be bigger than that. But on the other hand, I just added in MLSP sites and I turned off lendmooney.com in the last week. Lendmooney.com is currently not being um, looked at by the uh, search engines. I have moved much of my blog over to the MLSP sites. The last thing I need to do, and I haven't done it yet, is to actually uh, do a domain forwarding and forward lendmooney.com to sites. <clears throat> so, so I'm in the process of doing that. But at any rate, I can, I can select the uh, audience, uh, and it's only 300 people, and that's a little bit low. The other thing that I can do here, and I have done it, is I created a, a lookalike audience, which has 1.9 million people in it. So these presumably are people that are very similar to people that have already visited my website. And so I can select that audience as well, and that increases, of course, the number of people that this whole thing is going to. So here's where I can enter custom audiences. Then I'm just going to stay, for the sake of the example here, I'm going to stay with the United States. As we've talked about before, I'm, I, I may or may not change the age range here. Maybe, I don't know, take a guess. That's a good question. I don't know the answer. 25 to 64. And why am I cutting it off at 64? I mentioned this to you before. Experientially, I have found that there's a large group of inactive people at 65 and above. Uh, a lot of people, they don't do anything. So you end up paying to put ads in front of people that don't, don't do anything. Although in this case, we're going to be paying for conversion. So hopefully that'll work out. Lang language, generally English, English all. You know, if they don't speak English, I can't talk to them. So that's it. I'll leave it at English. And that's pretty much it. You can set my daily budget. The minimum they'll let you set this for, I think, is $5 a day. So we can do that. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I want to refine that audience some more, you see this, keep refining your audience. So we can do that as well. So let's go for suggestions, for example. How about people in, because we're dealing with that lookalike audience, how about people that like home-based business and multi-level marketing? Okay, so now we've, now we've ground this thing down to where we have a potential reach of 44,000 people, which is probably a reasonable thing to run ads. I can keep grinding and grinding and grinding if I want. And we've gone through this before, so I'm not gonna spend any more time here today. Once again, you gotta go back and really define that avatar. So here, here we have an audience that we've created. And if we want to, we can save this audience and come back and use it again and again and again. So let's just keep right on going. Uh, we're going to optimize for conversions. I'm basing this mostly on uh, training by both Bill and rather Michelle and also Justice. Uh, Facebook has gotten so good at this that I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to let Facebook figure out what the best thing to do is. They, uh, they've gotten extraordinarily good at this targeting. 
So we're going to let them set the bid that helps us get the most results at the best price, period. And we're paying for impressions, uh, and that's it. We'll run the ads all the time, and uh, you know what can I say, delivery standard, and we're ready to go. So the next step is to choose the ad creative. And here's where things get a little bit interesting. We can do slideshows, we can do videos, we can do images. I'm going to select images. Now, if you want to do multiple images, um, then do, 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 do. Oh, it doesn't like that image. Hmm, interesting. Uh, when I ran the test this morning, it was okay with the image. Let me just leave it alone for now. So we're going to have to deal with that image. Um, you can do multiple images. So if you want the ad to put multiple images on, you can have it do that. And why we why we do that is to do split testing. So find out which image is converting the best. And then we're going to go on to the rest of this thing. First thing we have to choose is what fan page this is running from. So I'm going to run it from the Len Mooney fan page. The next thing we have to, to, to decide is what do we want to use as a headline. You see the the header down there says InstaBiz Builder, and I can leave it at that, or I can change it. And what we're going to want to do here, by the way, is go back to our system campaigns. Actually, we're going to go right there. We're going to look at we're going to look at the words here: ten minute per day Instagram blueprint. Add 150 plus leads per month to your business. Okay, so let's go back to our ads manager and so we want everything to be congruent and that's it see my counter is down to one I can only put I can't put in any more words into that headline so we'll leave that headline alone add 150 plus leads per month okay then we're going to come on down to the text and let's go back and look again at our at our um, our picture. Ten minute per day Instagram blueprint. Okay. Ten minute per day Instagram blueprint. And I still have 52 characters left, so I can keep going if I wanted to and put in more text. And for the sake of time today, I'm because I'm, I'm actually not going to run this ad today, but for the sake of time, I'm going to put in more text. Oh, I know why I was arguing about the picture. I've got the Instagram ad turned on. I'm going to remove that. because we don't, we, I don't want to deal with the Instagram ad right now. And to be perfectly honest with you and totally transparent, it's because I haven't tried it. I have no experience with it, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, and I try not to try to teach you things that I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, so add 150 plus leads per month, and uh, that's that. 10 minute per day Instagram blueprint to add. Maybe we'll fill this out. 150 plus leads to your business. Okay, just to just to demonstrate. So here's the here's the text. Here's the description or the headline. The description is going up here. Or the text is going up here. Then we have our button that we have to tell it what to do. We're going to call it download. And uh, under advanced options, we'll, we'll put in click here to download your free uh, training or video or whatever we want to say. We'll see where that goes in a minute. <clears throat> and then we're going to display the link. Let's see if it's still in, in the editor. Yep, it's still in the editor. So that's the link that people are going to click on, and that's what they're going to go to. And basically, basically, we've created the ad. So you can see <clears throat> the 10 minute per day Instagram blueprint to add 150 plus leads to your business. Uh, that was the, um, that was, blah, 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 blah. That was the uh, text that we wrote right there. The headline at 150 plus leads per day. There it is. And again, all of this is congruent, completely congruent with the capture page that they're going to go to. So we're taking the words right from there. And the reason for that, of course, is they do if they do click on this, 
we want them to go to a capture page that looks like what they agreed to. We don't want to have different text or different pictures if we can avoid it. <clears throat> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out one warning, and that is I, I, I'm, I'm not going to test this ad right now, but I think that Facebook is probably not going to approve this image. Uh, and there's, there's two reasons here. One of the main ones is this what looks like a play button here, and it's not really a play button. Uh, they don't particularly like that, and so I think they may kick that, that one back, and we may have to use a different image. But that's okay. We can go to Canada, and we can make an image. Okay. And then they're, they're also also giving me the warning that ads, ad images with text that make up more than 20% of the image may not be approved. So once again, there's a very good chance that this image isn't going to get approved for both of those reasons. <clears throat> and... I realized that before, I realized that about a half hour ago, but I didn't have the time this morning to go on into Canva and make a new image for this particular ad. But I did, I did want to get through the ads manager and all the steps involved. Basically, we're, we're done. That's all the steps involved. All we have to do now is click on place order, and that ad will go off for their approval. And again, I'm pretty sure because of the image, it's going to kick, get, it would get kicked back. So I'm not going to go there, and I don't want to run an ad to Instagram right now anyhow. Uh, I picked it because I've already created the pixel, and I've done this before, so I wanted to at least have the advantage of, uh, in less than a half hour, of being able to use an example that I've actually used before so that uh, you can sort of see the flow of what it takes to get one of these ads ready to run. So basically, that's creating a an ad that's a, a conversions to website or a conversions to a capture page ad and putting it in front of a custom audience. So let me go off, let me leave the page, turn off system campaigns, and no, no, don't, don't do that, Len. Stop the screen share. I almost hit stop the broadcast. Stop screen sharing. So I'm back. Um, yeah. Okay. So does anybody, does that make sense? Does everybody? Uh, yes, it made sense. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any questions? And I'm watching the chat for questions. Now. Let me talk to you about Thursday. Thursday, I have a guest, and the guest is going to be Terry Grimau. And to be perfectly honest with you, Thursday is going to be a selling webinar. We're going to look at Terry's new product together, uh, which he's bringing out, and it has to do with phone conversions. I, I'm, I am personally, I'm going to put a plug on, I am personally very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I like what he did. I, I like what he's doing. Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with this product. It's it's huge. There's 75 videos on, in it, and it's how to get leads, sales, and how to deal with the phone and everything else from A to, a to Z. I think it's really worth taking a look at, and I'm taking a look at it. And uh, I want to bring it to you guys, anyone who hasn't seen it. Obviously, it's up to you to choose what to do with it. Where I'm headed, and I'll tell you this again on Thursday, where I'm headed is that if I can get a small group of us together that want the product, uh, we'll, we'll form a little study group and, and work sessions, and we'll work through it together, and we'll, we'll do work sessions. I don't know about you, but I know that you know, getting people on the phone and converting them on the phone is one of the hardest things any of us do in this business. <clears throat> I've gotten over my fear of the phone, and I used to have a real fear of it. I used to think the phone weighed 10 tons, and I was afraid to pick it up. I've personally gotten past that. I'm willing to pick up the phone, and I'm willing to make dolls, and I do that. I do pick up the phone, and I do make dolls, but I'm not really good at it. I'm very, very, I could use a lot of help, and uh, I'm doing conversions on the phone. So that's why I want to bring this to us. To, as a group to take a look at it and then we can decide, you know, as I said, if we can get a small group together, a couple, three of us, maybe four, I don't know, who are interested in the product, then uh, 
then we'll put our own little study group together and we'll we'll work on it together so that's thursday uh i'm actually leaving tomorrow morning going north i'll be at bob's on thursday so we'll be broadcasting from there and then and then once again for everyone who's on the saturday webinar uh, the law of attraction is not law of attraction this week it's essential oils with Jana Zaba and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing her name correctly but it's essential oils and I think that's going to be just a hell of a lot of fun so I don't see <clears throat> I don't see any questions coming in everyone just stopped chatting so hopefully that was worthwhile and that's it thank you for showing up for attending and we'll see you Hopefully. Welcome to the webinar. Please stand by. Have a good the day. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. That's interesting. <laughs> Who's that webinar? That was a, it's an Insta, it's a Instagram webinar on um, that Instamate that I bought. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, everybody. We'll, we'll talk to you on Thursday. Bye for now. Bye.